Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. We're having some trouble against Spain here. We are holding them off uh, and we've got a potential offensive battle line here. I would like to, if possible, upgrade. We've got a lot of army experience, so I'd like to try and upgrade some of our uh, divisions, mostly our infantry. So what do I want, what do I want to add? I uh, don't know. We could just add lots of infantry battalions to them. Uh, yeah, or we could add some mobile battalions to add some movement speed, I think. Uh, let's just add, let's add some artillery to them, to, to our base one. Like, just a lot of our, actually, you know, I don't think I saved any of the previous ones. Oh, that's, that's just, that's just not very smart. We're just adding in basically a ton of artillery. And then some more infantry battalions. Mountaineers? Um, sure, we'll add in some mountaineers. Save that. Good. Let's see how that works out for us. Pretty much everywhere should be trying to upgrade itself now, if it can. Right, um, what's this? We're at war with Republican Spain, we know. We know. Okay, uh, what's your problem with getting this offensive line going, guys? You're, you don't really seem to be working on it very hard. Uh, you seem to just be chilling, in fact, would be the correct word of, way of putting it. I'm gonna remove your orders, because I think you don't understand what I want you to do. I'm gonna set your front line here. I don't care about these guys. These guys aren't part of your problem. I want to set my offensive line to here. Pretty much, okay? You happy with this plan? These guys, they're on their own. Uh, you're in your own front line. This, this is your own line up there. Are you okay? You understand the plan? Oh, you don't want to do the plan anymore. Okay. Um, that's not good. I want you to do your plan anyway. I want you to do what I told you. Try and push out. Let's see if we can get some of our unattached units back. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I haven't given these guys any plans, but that's fine. I just want them to hold what we got. Pocket defense is done. Cool, let's get the next level of uh, defense in depth, so we can get more entrenchment. Okay. This seems fine. Doctrine effort is done, that improves our military, our land doctrine. Let's get that again. Push that forward. Uh, okay, whole bunch of stuff. France bans communism. The Edouard Dalder cabinet have decreed the dissolution of the Parti Com uh, Communiste Francais. Ever since the Soviet Russia, ever since Soviet Russia signed the uh, non-aggression pact of Nazi Germany, there have been talks of prescribing communism in France. The decree was instated following an agreement between two nations for the partition of Poland. Edward Daldier took the opportunity as support for a ban rose, and even the leftist papers started advocating for absolution of the party communiste français, doing all they can keep, doing all they can to keep the bourgeois in power. The molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Diplomats from Germany and Soviet Union concluded what observers are describing as a historic agreement today with the signing of the molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Named after German Foreign Minister Joachim von Ribbentrop and his Soviet counterpart Vyslav Molotov, this, is, this non-aggression pact stipulates that neither side will ally itself nor aid an enemy of the other. Foreign diplomats warn that this treaty effectively gives Germany a free hand to wage war in Europe without having to fear Soviet intervention. This can't be good. Germany have... Italy has joined the Axis. Okay. Is there anything we can do to get maybe get an alliance with the Soviets at some point here? We get a non-aggression pact and then try and join their faction. Uh, but we're at war, so they don't really want to. Um, let's get a non-aggression pact with them anyway, because the reason we get this non-aggression pact, in case uh, Spain try and get them in. That, that's really what I'm trying to avoid here. I don't know if Spain can, but I want to avoid that. Uh, can we get like a non-aggression pact with Germany as well? No. No. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Seeing how things are going up here. Um, everything's a little bit crazy. We should be alright. All right, some of our troops are still moving along the front line to try and reinforce up to the end. Um, okay. Cool. Cool. I think we're holding all right. I think we're holding all right. Uh, modify government. Uh, let's, can we change the conscription to like extensive? Because what do we currently have? We currently have limited. 
There's 2.5. We can go up to 5% conscription. Increases training time. I think we want to do that. We really need the extra manpower. That'll help us reinforce. Our steel trade just broke down. Okay, because we lost our steel factories. How you feel about this war up here? You gonna actually push us your way in? You are actually gonna take a province. Okay. We got encryption done. We're doing it all right. We're pushing our way forward. We're about to push our way into here. That's kind of what I'm after. Uh, we are losing down here, however. If I was to set you an offensive line of that, would you be able to do it? Let, tell, tell me in a couple months. You think you would? Yeah, good. Go for it. Try and push forward. Try and get out of the situation. We need our factories back, so we basically can't give in. Uh, okay. We're gonna win this province. I'll push them back a little bit more up here. Uh, we're gonna win down here as well, at the looks of it. Right. These guys are now starting to push in. They're trying to push back on us. We should be fine. We're holding them off. They're retreating a little bit. Now we're pushing in. Good. Good, good, good. We're starting to make our way back out in Spain. Uh, research. Let's get us some... Uh, I don't know. Let's get us some... Industry. Let's get us some... Factory repair speed? Or let's get some more factory output. There we are. We are holding our line. We are holding our line. Good. Mountain infantry went up. A level. This is going to be taken. Doctrine effort 2 has finished. Right. We finally managed to push it so we have a line out. We have a way out here. Do we have any of these guys who have nowhere to go? Location set. Porto. Location set. Porto. There we are. If they have nowhere to go, we need them to be assigned. You guys are uh, all to the front line. Get out of there. Uh, German Reich declared war on Poland. Cool. Uh, not cool. Definitely not cool, but uh, not important to us right now. Uh, right. Support weapons. Get some more of those. National focus. Um, I don't know. Equipment effort. Keep going for equipment. Uh, research slot available. Finished our signal company. Let's get signal company company level two. And then on our thing here, we can change this division, which is mostly looking like artillery. Uh, we're going to add in a signal company, which gives them a little bit more health, apparently. Cool. We'll see how that goes. Right. Uh, do we have enough artillery for what we're doing? We do not have nearly enough artillery, so what we're going to do is... Uh, I guess we're going to take one away from our guns and try and put it towards artillery and push it to a higher priority. Uh, our guns didn't really even have one to give away. Poland joined the, the Allies. Alright. Good. Pushing our way forward. We're getting our way out. You guys... Go join the front. Go help out. Go see what you can do. You are you doing anything? Are you want to be you on the front line? Yep. Everyone just try and join the front line. We no longer get effects from Reign of Terror. Okay. Well, we're starting to push our way back out into some of Spain. If I was to set you another offensive line here. What are you think about it? You're not so into that? Okay. Well, tell me when you are. Defense in depth is done. Okay, what do we want to do? Deep battle or mass mobilization? Pause. Um, we want to do... Um, mass mobilization. Effect of all of our parties sends 10%. Uh, division attrition goes down. Or supply consumption goes down. Let's just go this down. Let's go uh, mass mobilization. Right. Do we have enough to get our steel back from the Soviet Union? We do. Cool. We managed to get enough factories back that we're actually able to renegotiate for our steel, which means that some of our construction will actually go a little bit quicker. Good. Continue pushing out. You guys, 
this division. If I set you a new offensive line of here, what are you thinking about it? You're all up for that? Good. Execute. Down here, you're still not into your new orders, that's fine. We're able to push our way around. Good, good. Try and hold. Try and hold. Push your way out. Yeah. The fall of Warsaw. German forces advancing in Poland have been succeeded in capturing Warsaw. Sporadic fighting continues in Praga and a few other districts, but organized resistance in the city seems to have ceased. The Polish government reportedly evacuated the city as the first German units entered Warsaw's suburbs. The present location is unknown. Fighting against the German invaders continues in other parts of the country, but loss of the capital is a serious blow to the Polish war effort. Yeah. Probably would be. We are actually starting to get out of here. We're starting to get out of our hole that we're in. Can we get more steel from you? Oh, okay. Yeah, give me more steel. Give me all the steel you got. Uh, army experience. We're going to put this all into... How about we improve our motorized division a little bit? Motorized division. Let's give you an engineer company. And let's give you some more motorized stuff. There we go, some more motorized infantry. Cool. Pushing forward, Poland has capitulated. The Polish government has gone into exile and the main forces have capitulated to the German Reich who is now in control of their home area. German Reich, pretty scary. The struggles between German Reich and Poland were only a small part of the war conflict. The war between Axis and what remains of the Allies continues elsewhere. Now, excuse me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this was what the world looked like in 1939. Uh, I don't think there was quite so much blobbing. I could be wrong, but I, th I think there was something definitely, uh, and it was maybe a little bit less. I could be wrong. Soviet Union is still scary as hell. Um, I'm glad they're on our side. Look how many more troops we know we have than them. We should be beating the Spanish here. Problem is all of our troops are green, like we've just got them. USSR occupies East Poland. Soviet troops have occupied Eastern Poland officially for the purpose of protecting the Belarusian and Ukrainian minorities from the chaos that followed the collapse of the Polish government. German forces have withdrawn from these areas in good order, resulting in Poland's effective partitioning between the two powers. A likely story. Okay, let's keep going. Have we got our front line? Finally finished here. Good. We've almost moved in and got the entirety of this line. This is all we want to do. We just want to move forward. Right, we got it. You got you got everything I told you to get? Yeah. Bin all of that those orders. We're gonna give you a new front line. It's gonna be here. And a new offensive line is gonna be something like that. Tell me when you're ready. He's not ready. Cool. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff finished. Ne uh, w support weapons. Done. Okay. Um, is there something we can do with our navy? We have a lot of navy, don't we? We have these guys, and we have our other navy. Wherever it's currently hanging out. Is there a way of, like, selecting all navy? Probably. Uh, unread port strike reports. Um, okay. Click on the icon in the region to read the report report. Um, so they attacked us with 14 naval bombers, and we had three survivors. Oh, okay, good. I suppose. Where, where's our fleet? Is that our fleet? Uh, where is our fleets? Oh, we've got you on a convoy escort. Yeah. But instead of convoy escorting, you start, uh... Convoy raiding. Like, all the way up here. Just try and block off Iberian Spain from everywhere else. Good. And you guys, I also want you to go... And join them. I want you to go and convoy raid... Uh, no. I want you to continue repairing, actually, if you're repairing. That's fine. Cool. We're pushing forward. We're getting what we want. Both of you are ready to do your things. Okay, you go first. Right, they're going to start pushing in. Soon. Equipment effort is done. Okay. I would like you to do more equipment effort. I would then like you to start your war plan as well. So basically just pushing forward as one, getting all of what we had in Portugal back, 
and then taking a whole bunch of Spain. We still have more divisions that we know of. Research slot available. We're going to get um, proved infantry equipment. It's a little bit ahead of time, but that's fine. Modify government. So let's get us some industrial concerns. Let's get some industrial research time down. Cool. Continue pushing. Good, good. They should start pushing in everywhere. I assume you're just preparing. You'll eventually start moving at some point. Um, probably. You want to go join the front line? There you go. Go join the front line. This seems fine. Uh, yeah. I don't entirely know what you're doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete all your orders. I'm going to give you a new front line. Which is all the way up here. Then I'm going to ask you to get your new offensive line, which is something like that. And then I'm going to wait for you to tell me you're ready. Are you ready? You're not ready. Okay, well, tell me when you are. Up top here, we are pushing in, which is alright. We get rid of those guys, we're going to start getting around the other ones. You're ready. You're ready. Go. Oh, you say you're having trouble. That's not good. At least we managed to push forward. You're, you're all okay. You're all okay. Yeah, we're pushing forward everywhere. Finished research on the People's Army. Good. We're now going to do this one to give us more infantry recovery rate. Cool. Let's see how much we can push forward. Uh, we're having some trouble up, up north, but down here we're actually pushing in and getting more of our Portugal stuff back. Good. 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 That's exactly what we're after. Uh, I would like our air bombers to... Well, our air people, wherever they are. They're all bombers. Uh, I'd like you to go and help up in the north with close ground support. Go. See if that helps. Pushing forward. Yeah, we're getting around them. Proved infantry equipment done. Research. Um, let's go for... We could continue going down this path and just try and go really high there. I don't think that's the best way to go. Support battalions. We're still getting a signal company. Let's upgrade our engineers. We know we have some engineers. So let's upgrade them. Right. And let everything continue. These wars are pretty intense. I just need to get getting these things to work properly. Right, we move forward. Signal company. Done. Uh, you. And concentrated infantry. Done. Uh, let's get two new things. Um, field hospital? Yeah, let's get field hospital up. And then we will also... Where is it? Uh, it was in the same spot. In other research slots, we will start putting stuff into... We could start learning about tanks, but it's a little bit late. Let's start putting stuff into artillery. Let's get improved artillery. Cool. Continue pushing through. Yeah, basically what I'm aiming to do is eventually circle... Madrid, and then that will allow us to push in. Japanese diplomats in... Oh, Netherlands being declared on by German Reich. Japanese diplomats in Berlin. A new partnership is developing between Tokyo and Berlin. Negotiations have begun for a pact between the two states, citing both strategic interests and shared values. While it remains to be seen if... Uh, seen what, if anything, comes from these negotiations, the prospect of friendship between some of the world's strongest military forces on each hemisphere is cause to worry for their many enemies. It might be best if nothing comes of this. Equipment effort is done. Good. We're pretty much done the entire line. We'll get uh, the next mechanic, uh, mechanization thing done. Get some more stuff there. German Reich declared war on Belgium. Might want to maybe focus on our air force or on our navy next, but I don't understand them. And I, quite, I understand land wars, so that's fine. A couple of people join the Axis, a couple of people join the Allies. Belgium joined the Allies. We're still not on either any side at all, but that's fine. We are starting to push around. Starting to lower what they have available to them. We have low manpower, apparently. Unread port strike reports. Uh, we'll get rid of that. I don't care. As long as we didn't lose our port. That's all I care. Right. Um, are we forward yet? Yeah, almost. Almost. Available planes in reserve. Oh, we have some CAS. Okay, let's get our planes. 
um, our planes in reserve and send them out here. Oh, create new air wing. Close to air support. There we go. Okay. Um, can't let its air wing before it's uh, something something. Okay, let's start working on air. Um, reliability light aircraft, agility max speed. Um, let's go for some light aircraft designer. Let's see how that goes. I think we're basically going to go light aircraft because we're not going to do anything with our major aircraft. Belgium has capitulated. All of this is now German Reich. Well done them. Well done them. Well played. Netherlands has capitulated. Yup. German Reich's looking pretty scary. Although our Portugal's about to look very, very scary. Um, but I'm going to end the episode. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.